There are so many ways to get in and out of your Tesla. Tesla doesn't use key fobs, and in today's episode of Quick Tips with Chris, we're gonna go over all the ways. Now, Tesla uses key cards as well as your phone to lock and unlock the car. They do have a key fob, but I'll talk about that in a second. Once you get a Tesla, your email account is linked to that VIN number. You then can use your phone as a key using Bluetooth. To set that up, all you need is one of the two key cards that Tesla provides. Go into the car, click on set up phone as a key in the Tesla app, then swipe your key card above the cup holders and that's pretty much it. This automatically locks or unlocks your car when you get close or move away from the car by itself. If you have an iPhone or an Android, there's a feature that allows quick commands. You can easily just have a widget on the home screen of your phone. And if you need to quickly lock or unlock the car or open the front, all you have to do is just press that button. If you're near the car, it's pretty much instant. However, if you're further away, it uses cell service to connect to the car, a remote lock and unlock it. So it may take a few extra seconds. Another way is the key card itself. There's a sensor in the middle of the pillar. If you don't know where to look on the key card itself, it actually shows you the general place where you need to place it. It also shows you where to place the key card on the screen when the car is locked. When the mirrors open up, the car is unlocked. And when the mirrors close, the car is locked. So it's definitely a nice visual reminder if you walk away from the car and the mirrors are still open and out, that might be the indicator that the walkaway door lock for some reason didn't work or maybe you left a door open on accident. The key card reader is only on the driver's side pillar so keep that in mind as well. The key card is waterproof and is made of plastic so it's fairly durable. Now to simply unlock the car just hold the key card at the sensor on the pillar once and then to lock it just do the same thing hold it on the pillar again. Sometimes your phone doesn't work as a key so having the key card handy is a good idea. Now I'm not sponsored by this company but I do have an affiliate link with the discount code if you want to check that out. But I've had my scenic ring for over three years. I've gone through the wood, ceramic, and silver. I found what works best for me is the black ceramic because even though it scratches, you can't really tell and it works fine. I take it and I wear it at the gym, even though it says not to, but I still do. It's great to have when you're in a bind and you need to lock and unlock your car with your phone not nearby. I found that the car gets confused when the phone is nearby with Bluetooth, so sometimes the ring won't even work. Also, I found using your knuckle and not placing the key on the sensor itself with your flat palm is much better and it gets a much better reading. Your car can also stay unlocked at various places like home or work or favorite location as long as it knows the address. And you have to make sure you check the exclude from home option. So even if you are away from the car, it will stay unlocked. Now with Tesla models, not the Cybertruck, you can also opt in for a Tesla key fob. They sell it on Tesla Tesla store and it's nice to have if you want a physical key. It works very similarly to the phone but it always works. I thought I needed one when I first got my Tesla. However, I've had a lot of Tesla rentals that uses the key fob and I hated it. It's like once you have a Tesla, all you need is your phone. You don't need anything else. What's cool about the key fob though is there's various buttons like on the top of the car, front of the car, and the rear of the car that opens that area and it's good to have if you want it. Now tying into the phone, you can also use things like your Apple Watch to unlock the car as well. I do have a cool 21 tips you didn't know about your Tesla where I go into detail about it, but it's as easy as going to shortcuts on your iPhone, search for Tesla, find the command you want to use, like locking the car, click the I button at the bottom and show on Apple Watch. Oh yeah, and for all these features to work automatically and lock the car, just make sure walk away door lock is enabled. It's under controls, locks, walk away door lock. And a couple of things, if you have a phone inside the car with Bluetooth on and it's connected or the doors are not fully closed, the car will not lock. It doesn't apply to a key card as long as it's not on the reader. So technically you can keep a key card in your glove box without any issues. Just make sure you have a code on the glove box in case someone breaks into your car. And lastly, there is a cool feature called driver door unlock mode, what only locks the driver door in case you're in like a sketchy area or something, or just wanna have a little bit of extra safety. However, keep in mind that that feature only unlocks the driver door. So if you wanna open your trunk first or another door, you have to unlock and open the driver door first. Then you can use the screen or hold on to the door open button and all the doors unlock. And lastly, if you didn't know with Tesla's new holiday update, you can change the lock sound to anything you want. 
just go to toy box boom box and lock sound if you want to create your own or download them as long as it's under one megabyte you can rename it to lock chime dot wave drive it onto the main folder of your usb sentry mode not under sentry mode or anything else or dash cam and that's pretty much it if you downloaded an mp3 file you simply rename it to dot wav if it's already a wav you don't have to rename it to wav again again this won't work if you don't have the pedestrian speaker installed and you'll know you have it installed if when you go into reverse you hear that crazy ufo sound anyways guys thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe for more awesome content and i'll see you guys next time